Hi guys, so you're a coach, you want to get more clients or you want to be an entrepreneur. You're maybe an executive in, in a, a corporate organization and you want to be an entrepreneur, but you're frightened to take that leap because you think nobody's going to listen to you and what, what do you know that everybody else has got or that the market is too saturated. In this video, I'm going to bust that myth and show you that the reality is, is that your voice has an audience. See you when I come back, guys. God bless. What holds you back from chasing your dreams? What holds you back from having that life that you have always desired to live? Or what's holding you back from reaching out to people and spreading your message? You see, the biggest thing that holds us back is ourselves, all right? The reason, because we think that nobody will listen to us. It's almost like a teenager when, when, when you're younger, when you're a young kid and you think mum and dad's not listening to me, nobody really cares about me and it's kind of like this, you know, you're going through these terrible teens. It's very much like that when we're starting to get up into or later on in, in life and we have dreams and desires and goals but we're held back by everybody else's material perception or we're held back by what other people's expectations of us are. But the reality is, is that you hold yourself back. And the reason that you hold yourself back is you think that you're not good enough. You think that your message is not strong enough. You think that in a sea where there's loads of sharks and fishes, that there is no space for you. The reality is, ladies and gentlemen, that every voice has an audience. No matter who you are, whether you're the most famous person in the world or whether you are not so famous and you are living a normal layman's life. And although people see these two extremes as something that really is extreme in, differ in distance, a uh, difference, it's not because we're all the same. All blood is red. It's not different. We are all the same. We are all equal, which means that we all have a voice. And that voice has a message. And if you want to impact lives as a coach, or if you want to impact lives in, in, in your dream and service in some way, maybe when you, you, you're, you, you're a, a, an executive becoming an entrepreneur, or you are just someone who wants, has an entrepreneurial spirit, but you're frightened to take that leap, you need to remember that your voice has an audience. It already, your audience is there. You just need to find that audience. Because when you eventually connect with that audience, you're not going to do it straight away. You're not going to get there straight away. Your voice is not going to be heard over the cacophony that's going on all around you. But when you persevere and your message is unique enough and you believe in yourself enough, your voice will find its audience. And when that audience hears that voice, there's an immediate attraction. There's an emotional attraction. There is a spiritual attraction. Through the awareness that people find you, through the awareness that you have in the message that you want to, 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 to serve, and don't look at that as a money-making exercise. That all comes later. It's how you want to impact a life, how you impact someone, how you impact the life, or how you're impacting groups of people will help you to find that voice, will help you to find that audience. Your audience will find you naturally because it is natural divine law, like attracts like, the law of attraction. Don't be frightened to let your voice be heard. Obviously, you don't want your voice to be heard that's gonna cause trouble or in a negative way. Positive voices find their audience. Negative voices will find their negative audience. It's your choice. How you choose, whatever you choose, you can choose a positive, a positive message or a negative message. When you choose a negative message, you will rally around negative people. When you choose a positive message, you will rally around positive people. Your audience is waiting for you. 
It just needs you to step forward, to have awareness and take the action. There's nothing holding you back but you yourself. So if you have a passion and you know that it will impact people's lives positively, let your voice be heard. Whether it's on video, whether it's on a podcast, whether you're writing in an article or for a magazine, or whether you are, oh, let's see, um, doing it in visual ways on social media, whether you are going out and meeting people at networking events, your voice will find its audience based on what it attracts and how you attract, the attractor factor, if you like. It's down to you. There's nothing holding you back. You can achieve anything that you want. I've always said, and I say it to my students all the time, the, the laws of the universe are vast, but they're perfect in operation. But the simple laws for us, the simple secret source that we need in life is to perceive, believe, conceive. Perceive it in your heart. Believe that God's spirit, whatever you believe in, or universe has given it to you, and conceive it into reality. Your voice will find its audience because your audience is already looking for that voice. It just takes your awareness and your action to step forward. Guys, I hope that helps you today, gives you a little bit of inspiration so that you can take leaps forward and believe that you can do whatever it is that you put your mind set to do. If you've got any questions, then please connect with me. If you haven't been to this this, this channel before or the podcast, Awareness in Action, then please subscribe. Everything in life is possible, but only you are the one that makes it possible. God bless.